Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for um, September 21st until 28th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh. Okay. Ooh, Cancer, it looks like you need to watch your back. There is an air sign woman that will be betraying you this week. And also something's going to be coming up to your house or to your uh, domestic life during this week. Hmm. Meanwhile, <clears throat> for those of you who's already married or who's, um, who's with an earth sign... Looks like this person doesn't know how to ask for a second chance or how to, you know, um, ask for, you know, starting all over again or to have your life again. Now, the thing here is this week, you're going to have a lot of baggages that you need to release. Okay. Something's about to come your way and something is about to be revealed. Secrets that will no longer be concealed. And a can of worms that will be opened, you know, right within your home. And it will be um, started by an air sign woman. All right. Also, there will be three things, three people, three situations that you're going to be dealing with. But somehow, even though that your life, <clears throat> sorry, that your life will be a little bit full of drama this week, there will be some things that you'll be victorious about. Plus, good news coming your way. Now, there is also an, an earth sign man or an earth sign person around your life right now that's kind of still looking forward to have a second chance to ask for, you know, to have a life again with you or to... Start all over again, practically. You know, like, love is lovely the second time around. And this person is still single. Still thinking a lot about you. Still wondering what will be life with you, if ever. <clears throat> now, there is also an air sign man uh, from your past that will be re-emerging again. And... A fire sign a woman will be um, relating you the news or will be passing you on some news that you're kind of looking forward to, you know, to hear from or to hear about. This person that you've been like um, thinking that this is the right one for you. This is your, you know, your, um, your soulmate, the one who really knows you so well. Somebody that you're supposed to be with and uh, the one who got away. Finally, that there will be some change of situation and change of, you know, um, let's say change of, um, well, the pattern or the cycle of your life, which is you've been thinking about starting all over again and walking away from it or walking away from this person because you are you're already tired of waiting for something to happen or waiting for something to be revealed but this person just practically acts like they don't you know like it don't really matter to them you don't really exist to them and they just treated you like you don't exist okay so you already get tired of waiting and waiting and waiting and now that this person you know, they could feel that you're slowly moving away and that you're slowly um, diminishing. So, this is the one that who will be finding a way and how to reach out to you, how to contact you, and how to communicate back with you again. Even though that you don't want to communicate back with this person again because they already made you look like a fool in the past. But this person is thinking of what might have been and what could have been and even if you will try to give this person another chance there is all the warning okay when the moon card comes out it means that this person whatever their intentions are um you need to proceed with caution otherwise it's just going to end up in another heartbreak 
All right, some of you will be traveling for work and will be attending a big event within the next two days, two weeks, and two months. And some of you will be signing a contract or will be closing a deal, but the money that you're going to be getting will be around November or will be released around November. But even though that's going to take some time, it will be in lump sum money, okay, or it will be in lump sum um, amount. Now, some of you, okay, or most of you, Keeps on saying goodbye to people, cutting people off, being estranged, isolating, and telling that it's me, myself, and I. But the thing here is you're, you're actually dealing with, you know, with your situation and with your, um, with your problems the wrong way. Because you always feel like people always walk away from you, turn their backs on you. That right after doing this, doing that, doing all the favors and stuff like that. It's like you always want for something in exchange for all the things that you have done for other people. But the thing here is life is not like that. You need to be a little bit more unconditional so that other people will treat you the same way. Now, if you won't stop cutting people off and... Um, isolating yourself, walking away, leaving, jumping from one place to another, then definitely you're going to be ending up alone, okay? You need to stop doing this because this is your defense mechanism. Every time that you feel so scared, every time that you feel so threatened, and every time that you feel so, you know, so alone and afraid. But the thing here is you just need to have, a, you know, like a, little bit more understanding and open and open up your eyes open up your mind that if ever that somebody couldn't really get back at you at a certain period of time it means that they have their own life and they will give you the time that you that they uh you know uh they will give you the time to pay attention to you when they are really free all right don't oblige them okay so this is the reason why you're having a lot of hard time right now dealing with your friends co-workers and with your you know, with your, um, well, loved ones as well, relatives. Mostly, you're very lucky when it comes to good friends or when it comes to good people. But it seems like you just need to manage your fears, you know, your fears of rejection and fears of isolation a little bit. Now... There is also a fire sign, an older fire sign man that will be driving you nuts this week and uh, will be giving you a lot of hard times. Plus, there will also be some financial issues or some money issues. I feel like this is your boss or this is somebody that you work with. Um, sad news that will also be coming your way, that will also be shattering your, you know, your world for a little bit. But then... There's also some something in exchange, a lump sum of money coming your way, but you will be getting this within the next two months, which is, I already told you, it will take up, um, like, until November for you to get the, uh, could be this is just like a conf uh, confirmation, but the release of the money or the release of the funds will be available within the next two months, and you will be traveling. This is the start of your new beginnings, and this is going to be the start of your new life. Which is good. Now, okay. Now, family matters. There will be a few, um, a few little dramas. You know, especially if you have an air sign son or if you have an air sign sibling that is younger than you. This person is the one who will be rocking the boat and will be bringing drama into your life, even though you're not really looking for it. Now, you'll also be um, seeing a pattern of the past or seeing a pattern that this has already happened in the past and now it's happening again. So now if you will be dealing or if you will be dealing with a situation with the same kind of solution or the same kind of action, then it will fall the same into same pattern again. You need to have a different approach to this problem this time so that it won't just keeps on happening over and over again. Because, you know, the way you put solution to things is only like, um, 
You know, it's like it, it, instead of you healing it or drying off the wounds, you are just covering it but keeps on, you know, like uh, making it still fresh. So you need to find a different solution this time so that this problem will finally come to an end. Okay? And this person will, not, will never stop. Uh, a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy, a lot of... Um, a lot of negative stuff that I'm feeling from this person that you have to deal with once and for all. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's just going to get bigger. And, you know, uncontrollable in the near future. So I feel like while you still can, while you can still deal with this person, put a permanent uh, solution to this. Also, somebody from the past, which is a younger earth sign that you've been hiding from, okay? Especially if you're a cancer male, there is somebody that will be coming your way. And this is an earth sign, hmm, well-financed, um, a very, um, what do you call this? Like, um, they, um, they're very versatile, flexible, talented, multi-talented. And they're very hardworking. Okay, they have their own money. Now, what's the thing with this person this time? I feel like you will have major communications. Either there will be a closure or there will be a start of new beginnings. Uh, sorry, start of new friendships, new beginnings, and start of reconnection. I don't feel like it's going to be for love. But I feel like that there will be some transformation, okay? You will have a closure um, of whatever happened to you in the past. But then this time, you will be starting all over again. Hmm. Well, just protect yourself for a little bit, okay? Well, you always protect your flesh with your tough shell. But sometimes you just need to let your vulnerability out a little bit. So that the, the world will know how to approach you and how to deal with you, okay? You can't always be tough on the outside. Sometimes you also have to let your emotions out. All right, Cancer? Anyway, that's it for you for this week. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live at the cost, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.